Good morning. Happy Monday. I am also going to start off with a picture book this morning. This was my daughter's favorite picture book. Long before I even thought about becoming a librarian, when we would go to the library, she would check this book out every single week. I finally found it and bought it for her so she could let some other kid have a shot at it. But one of the things she liked about it is that she also loved the library. But it's very rhymey, and I know a lot of books don't rhyme anymore, and that's okay. They certainly don't have to. But I'm a fan of some good rhymes, so this is about a girl named Elizabeth Brown. It says, she didn't like to play with dolls. She didn't like to skate. She learned to read quite early and at an incredible rate. She always took a book to bed with a flashlight under the sheet. She'd made a tent of covers and read herself to sleep. She goes to college. This one is my favorite right here. She manufactured library cards and checked books out to friends, then shocked them with her midnight raids to collect the books again. So this is on our front display. You're welcome to come check it out if you'd like to see the rest of Elizabeth Brown's rhymy life. I'm gonna talk about a couple books that I read a long time ago, but we just now got in the library. I'm trying to make sure that the things that I'm talking about are things that you all have access to. I'd love to introduce you to things that, that you haven't seen, before, but I also want you to be able to check out what I talk about. So I'm going to try and do a mix of that this year. The first of which is called The Geography of Lost Things. So the main character's father dies and leaves her a 1968 Firebird convertible. So she has this mission, this thing, she thinks she's going to sell it and use the money because she doesn't have a lot of affection for her father anymore, and she doesn't feel like there needs to have a sentimental tie to him. But as it turns out, she ends up taking her ex-boyfriend on the trip to sell the car. Things go a little south, and they need some money, and what they do is trade up. So her boyfriend, ex-boyfriend, convinced her of this, that if they need this one thing, if they, have, if they have a pair of dice to sell, and they want to buy a used cell phone. If they could trade up from one to the next, they could get what they're going with no money. So it's really funny to watch the things they trade and what they get out of them and how close to their goal they actually get. I really enjoyed it. It's a romance, so there's that love story. But it was also really nice to watch the adventure, the trade-up game, so to speak, and to see her understand that you don't have to be close to someone, to miss them. So it's really good. This one is in Contemporary. I loved this book, Ask Me Anything. So there's a girl at this school, they go to a school that is very conservative and there is zero sex ed education and any information they do get or is disseminated is almost wrong. It's worse than not having any information at all. So she is a coder and she thinks to herself, what could I do? So she starts this online forum, so to speak. Sort of like a Dear Abby thing, which you guys probably don't know what that is, but people would write into the newspaper and say, hey, my mother-in-law is driving me crazy. What do I do? And Dear Abby would give them a very nice, polite answer about what they should do with their mother-in-law. Well, she does that, asks me anything. So you can ask her any questions, and she will seek out the information and then publish it so everyone can gain from your question. Her mother's a psychologist, so that helps. She gets a lot of information from her, stuff she doesn't know or can't find in her books. She researches with other people. She tries to be very diligent about giving out good information. She doesn't want to be like the school where the bad information makes things worse. But then, instead of just sort of staying in her little school, as you can imagine things don't do in the world of internet, it spreads. So other schools from other counties and then other states are paying attention, and it becomes a thing, and they want to find out who's doing it, and they want to shut it down. So they sick the guy she's crushing on to find her and figure out who she is. So this whole time she's trying to have this relationship with this guy and then he's not so secretly trying to figure out who's running this forum. It is intriguing as it sounds. It's really good. It's heartbreaking. I, I cried. I laughed. I was angry a lot. But it was so good. I really enjoyed it. If you are a coder or you're interested in the freedom of information or you just like a good crush novel, it's really good. It's a very good book and it's it's ready. It should be ready to check out anytime now. So come grab it or The Geography of Lost Things. 
or the library picture book if you guys are interested. Thanks.